Hey Truths, this is your sister Truth Seeker 5000, BKA Evangelist Dawn Anderson, getting on here for another Mary Mary Season 4, this time Episode 4. I entitled it The Tina Show, because we already know what it is. <laughs> like to hear it, here it go. The scene opens up with Goo calling Mitch out to check him about the shade he threw at Erica and tells him he is acting like a Mitch. And <laughs> Mitch is cool, calm, and collected, hanging in there with her. He's like, oh, so it's okay for you to talk to me and about me behind my back. But not okay for me to say what I got to say up front, huh? <laughs> he nailed her with a very, very valid point. Because truth be told, how many of us have said the same thing to a person? You don't have to talk behind my back. Come to me and say it to my face. <laughs> I mean, how many times have you said that to someone? We know she has been talking about him, about how she doesn't like him. And she knows it too. That's why she tried to say, oh, well, I'm telling you right now that I don't like you. Uh, Goo Goo Boo Boo, please go sit down in an auditorium full of seats, sweet pea. <laughs> go ahead on to the spa with your sis, looking cute as you was looking, and have a foot bath, honey. Because you were doing the most in this Mitch scene. Like he said, it's none of your business. Okay, you guys, the white rabbit is clapping back in this season. His his clap back is turned on. Okay, and I'm still here for him because that's real life. I don't know if he's saved or not, but I know that he's giving us real life. And y'all know it too. In real life, however you come at a person is how they'll come back at you. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying that it's real truth for you to deal with, you know, when you have this do unto others slick mouth okay you're supposed to be doing unto others as you would have them to do unto you but if you're doing them wrong what else can you expect you know if you're giving people the slick mouth and you're talking about them as we all know that goo and the rest of them have and they're supposed to be saved and holy ghost feel and so in my marcus william voice I'm just saying. And speaking of Marcus Williams, um, Marcus, don't come for Mitch in your review on this one. Let him get a pass. If you don't let him get a pass, I'm coming for you on your channel as soon as you go in on him. Because we both know that you have, you would have put your glasses on and read all over them Marys, the whole family, <laughs> without hesitation or delay on today, honey. So don't do it. And that goes for the rest of y'all, too, coming for Mitch in this instance. Truths, y'all, too. Y'all know I ain't scared of none of y'all. <laughs> so, anyway, next uh, interesting scene, Pastor Warren is in the studio with his sister, Joy. And we get to hear a little bit of her singing. And girlfriend can sing. I loved her hair. I loved her skin tone. Uh, they spoke about her coming off the back burner and going to that, that next level in her career. Next scene, Tina and Teddy, Teddy Bear, were driving and reminiscing about their wedding and wedding night, complimenting one another, saying all nice things. And when it was Teddy's turn to say nice things to her, as he held her hand, I chuckled and I just laughed real hard thinking about how several of my truths said that they think that he sounds and be looking like a hostage in a relationship that's afraid of Tina. <laughs> Y'all be cracking me up, you know, and you really give me life, okay, in that comment section and in our Truth Anderson subscriber Facebook page. Y'all have me cracking up. I told y'all that the other day. It was real truth. I love y'all. Uh, next, Pastor Warren calls First Lady Erica up and burst her vacay bubble, telling her that instead of taking her to Cabo, he was to be in New York supporting his sister Joy at her venue, which was very nice of him. But I would have been upset myself uh, if my husband, you know, flipped the switch on our vacation plans too but she does flip her plans as well all the time for tina so why should this be any different you know it's like why should she be upset because she does it for tina for her sister so now he's doing it so uh they both work at both decide to go to new york together to support joy now 
Uh, next, we see some of Joy's performance, and she looked like she was doing her thing up there. It sounds like uh, she will be doing an R&B concert later in the park, and they want Erica also to perform. This scene was a little confusing for me because I wasn't sure that they actually was talking about Erica until later on in the scene. Uh, that they wanted Erica, Erica to perform. Um, next, Tina and Teddy are enjoying themselves under a few waterfalls, looking happy, which is always good to see a married couple in bliss. Um, they spoke about doing a like peaches and herb, uh, okay, type R and B album together, but more about that a little bit later. Somebody is trying it. <laughs> R&B trying it is what uh, this gospel artist is doing. We're going to get on that later. Next, Pastor Warren is buttering Erica up with a helicopter ride and a dinner to tell her that she has to perform at Joy's event. This, I felt, was wrong as rain on your birthday, honey. It was just wrong. But he also had a valid point, though. Um, if she wants to be a successful solo artist she does have to put in this work early on and get out on that stage anime bullock and sang <laughs> okay uh next tina and teddy talk about getting back home and back to their merry merry business now in her review she looked refreshed and very happy and her hair looked nice tina's hair um Next, Joy and Erica performed, and they both actually sounded pretty good from the little snippets that they uh, showed us. Next, Tina comes home, visiting Erica, goes in her kitchen, and dips her dirty fingers into her food. And Erica is visibly and understandably upset about it. Tina replies, girl, shut up. You come to my house and eat up my food all the time. <laughs> they sound like straight up sisters for real. But, you know, my thing is just, you know, she could at least washed her hands or dipped in there. You know, got a small plate or something. She didn't have to dip, go in there without washing her hands. Um, she then tells her that uh, she feels that Mary Mary should get back together. And <laughs> also tells Erica that she will be their manager when Erica said that they don't have a manager. Now, <laughs> none of us need to jump in a DeLorean time machine to travel to the future to know and find out what's about to happen if that entertainingly funny idea does manifest of Tina being their manager. <laughs> we already know what it's going to be. Uh, next, Tina goes to visit Pastor Warren down at my block and she tells him that she wants to do a collabo with Teddy on a love songs album which we all know is R&B as Warren all also called out but see we knew this was was going to happen because Erica has been inching out into the mainstream music with her ratchet gospel song I love God music and rubbing elbows with secular artists lately so we're not dumb. We already saw this coming because we saw it with Dietrich Hatton and his little love songs album that he performance he put on. That was a mess. But anyway, <laughs> that's another show. Um, later at the gym, Tina brought the Mary Mary reuni reuniting topic back up again. And Erica stood up to her and said, uh, uh, no ma'am, to the Mary's revival. It, it will be too much on me, she said. And I had a proud look for her for, for that moment. I said, you better stand up for yourself, child. Don't you let Hurricane Katina come through and devastate your hard solo work. Tina got upset as usual and walked off. I said, you better, you better go, Erica. You got the victory on this girl. Stand firm. Okay? But, yeah, we already know. Next, <laughs> next scene, they had me yelling at Goo Goo uh, through the TV telling her to be quiet. Because Erica is telling her that her plate is full and that she wants to do what's best for her. And Goo want to tell her that she being selfish. Are you serious? As selfish as Tina has been all of the previous flashbacks footage has shown us of her being selfish in all of their lives. Even before Mary Mary came together. I'm sure and completely convinced Plus, Goo, I felt she didn't even care or think about Erica's voice. Alleged issue. Okay. You know the one where the two fake doctors last season said that she could lose her voice completely uh, for even talking too loud. But I see, you know, Goo is 
under Tina's spell as well. They all are under her command to the point where if anyone even tries to think or even try to snatch a little happiness for themselves, they are made to feel guilty and, and, and be thinking, oh, what about Tina? You know, I really truly pray that Tina never dies. Just turn into a vampire. Just stay forever alive. Because if she does, they would be totally lost without her. Okay? So with that, I'm going to go ahead and give Goo a sisterhood pass. Because she's pro-sister. And I can understand that. Even though I do not agree with her. Because I really felt that Erica was not wrong for trying to do her and that's just period.com okay uh next that com conversation with goo apparently made erica feel guilty okay and she ended up giving in to what tina wants as always we're not surprised are we no we're not <laughs> so she calls tina and tina sends her the voicemail but she leaves a message telling her that they're back on as mary mary <laughs> Boo. Yeah. The last see scene is Erica and Warren in bed. And really, I don't know why they feel that we need to see them in their bed business like that. Like, why not chat over breakfast or lunch or chilling on the couch or whatever? But anyway, uh, she told him that she gave in to Tina and started Mary Mary back up. And he asked to hear it twice. <laughs> and upon her saying it the second time, he did a Sea World Warn the Walrus flip and splash over in the bed from his back onto his stomach and scolded her, asking why did she make that decision and that it was ridiculous <laughs> and that it was a very bad decision because she was going to break her throat and her body down. And he actually was right about that. Um, she blamed it on Tina having marriage issues and she felt bad for her. Warren said, listen, this is business. And then he angrily flip splashed over again and closed the lights out on the conversation. He was understandably livid. I would have been too. So <laughs> that was the conclusion of this episode. Now, this was actually a better episode than the last few I knew they had to turn up the heat since they already had Tina's wedding. Usually they would try and drag the drama out on all the way out to the season finale, but they didn't do it this time. Also, I'm wondering what their congregation is thinking watching them on this show. They've had their uh, church for about a year now, and um, I'm just wondering what they're thinking and how... They will actually even have time to shepherd a whole church and meet the needs and concerns of the people that will be placed into their hands. Whose pastor and first lady are these? I'm going to need for y'all to contact me and yeah, on that. And I also heard from one of the truths, a couple of the truths, that Tina actually has started her own church as well. If that's true, somebody show me some receipts in the comment section because, oh dear goodness. <laughs> okay, just oh goodness. Well, alrighty then, you guys. With that being said, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my review. Make sure you connect with me by subscribing, liking, commenting, and adding me on Facebook at True Seeker Anderson Saints. Saints especially. Okay? Shout out to Marcus Williams. Check out his Mary Mary reviews and see what he has to say. And find out if I have to put my glasses on and go over there and deal with him on this episode. And any truths on my Facebook page as well. <laughs> we about to get into it. <laughs> see you all there. Love you all. And you be blessed. Okay? Bye for now.